Al Qaeda group in Yemen this morning says it attacked an air base used by Americans. It said the strike at the Al Anad base was revenge for a failed attempt to rescue American hostage Luke Summers. David Martin is at the Pentagon. David, good morning. Good morning. Pentagon officials say no Americans were injured in this attack, although they refuse to say uh, whether any U.S. military personnel were even at the base at the time of the attack. Al Qaeda said they fired a half dozen rockets at the American part of the sprawling base located near the area where Luke Summers was held. A, a relatively small number of special operations forces are in Yemen working with Yemeni troops in the battle against Al Qaeda. And over the last two weeks, American co commandos conducted two raids into Al Qaeda strongholds in an attempt to rescue Summers. On the first attempt, Summers was not there. In the second, Summers was, and one other hostage, a teacher from South Africa, were killed by their Al Qaeda guards. Just hours before that attack on the base was first reported, Luke Summers' body arrived back in the U.S. at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. Jeff? All right, David, thank you very much.